Today, we're gonna compare a couple of splitting devices, the traditional mall, which we restored, shined up, and uh, took some varnish off and some sandpaper, burned it, used some boiled in seed oil. The classic traditional option and the Fiskars, highly rated online, um, splitting axe. As you can see, it has a noise wedge similar to a splitting mall, which we've always used and known to be very reliable cutting up stumps or whatever. Um, Fiskars is about six and a half pounds, which is nice because uh, the AF, or the, the mall is eight pounds, I believe. So a little heavier, you can probably go a little longer splitting with the Fiskars we expect from the reviews online. Uh, yeah, both are 36 inch long, which is good for someone like me who's 6'5 with boots on. But I think as anybody, more uh, more length is going to give you more power. But power comes a little more effort. Oh yeah, and I it's the first time I've ever handled a axe or maul, so I'm hoping it doesn't fly off. I don't know if I did it properly. I tried to do as best I could watching uh, YouTube videos. So far it seems to be splitting pretty good. This is some poplar wood that we just took down. Uh, it was standing dead. So it's fairly light. It's not rotten though, I don't think, is it? Nope, it's green. That was cool. Check it's it out. Feel different? Yeah, I mean, like split different. It's pretty sharp too, so I grab or pull into the wood pretty easily. Not that the mall really ever bounces or anything, but does it feel different? Yeah, a lot different. Like you can swing it, it faster because it's lighter? Yeah, way lighter. Hmm. But you need quite a bit of speed to make sure it gets the wedge into the wood. Oh, it yeah. feels like it wants to sort of bounce out because it is lighter. Which is not a deal. It's just like saves your energy, I think. Which is good if you have to chop up a whole tree. I'll do a couple more swings with that. Did the mall feel any different with a longer hammer? Because I think it had like a 32 or something inch handle on it before, so it's a bit longer. Yeah, it feels heavier for sure. But I guess you can choke up on it if you're shorter or just want to use less powerful swing. So you kind of see how it sort of collapses on its own? Yeah. It has, you can let the weight of this bigger mall work for you more. Yeah. But then like resetting and yeah, yeah. more work. And that's, you have to swing a little harder, but it's way less work to reset. Right. And getting it above your head. Yeah, but you gotta use a little bit of power, I guess, on the downswing. Yeah, the mall too. This one is almost like, you can just kind of let it do its thing. Yeah. That's what I do, you lift it up and then usually just kind of let it fall. Yeah. Light force is on the way down. You wanna try it? Sure. Gruesome looking piece. They watch me miss and uh, destroy. Get the handle, glancing blow. I'm from the city here, folks, so. <laughs> it's Tyler's place. Sharpen that up, too. It actually feels a bit different. Yeah. Sharp. Mm. Hold on. This guy go. I wonder how long the shine's gonna last on this thing. feels actually way nicer. Yeah, it I is, like hey? longer and uh, maybe a, a little bit of an edge on it too. It kind of seems to cut into it. Yeah, okay, a couple more of this and then... Got the one? Yeah. Bites into the stuff nicely. Yeah. Which is nice, it's a pain in the dick when it falls over. It's a pain in the butt. For all the children watching these axe splitting videos. <laughs> okay, Fisker's time. It feels super light compared to that one. Yeah. Oh, and I think this is the X27 they call it, although it's not written on here. Um, the next step up was the Fiskars Mall, but I figured we already had them all, so we can have a difference between Max and Mall. And if you miss the wood, like I just did, 
At least we're not going to replace the handle, which is still kind of fun to do, but lifetime warranty on these handles, so you can't, let's say you can't break it or anything. Okay, let's just try this gnarly one here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna change perspectives. Get this gun out of there. Damn. Yeah. Sweet. It's good, right? I mean, you have to probably chop for the day, and well, if you chop for the day, you're probably gonna like this. It's lighter, but yeah, I'd say it performs fairly equally from all. Sweet. Yeah. Right on.